Hey everybody, it's the Mobile Home Mama here. Stepping into a customized thrifty. This is going to my friend David and we wanted to really make a nice little man cave for him. So what I did was I took the thrifty that you'll see online for 38,000, it's a great deal. And I did some stretch in there because we had some extra room uh, money wise to be able to customize it the way he wants. So this is a very customized home. Right here where my feet are, you're gonna see I did a four foot stretch right down the middle of this wall right here. So basically I took the floor plan and went just like that, opened up this area. I wanted to create a living space and that's exactly what I did. And to make that happen, I also threw this island in here to kind of block off the area to separate the kitchen from the living space. So four foot stretch right there. Also, I wanted to create an entertainment center wall so that he would have somewhere to place his TV in an entertainment stand. This is actually the front door there. I came in the back door right over there. Here we go. There's the very simple bathroom. We did a 60 inch tub shower combination. We did add a little transom window up there to make some light in here. And you'll see that little bit of window does create a lot of light. We did a two arm vanity up there. And what's cool about that is it's gonna be in black hardware, which also matches the hardware on the doors, the handles, not the exterior doors, but the interior doors are gonna be black like that. So uh, let's go to the kitchen. We did our smallest island available because we didn't have a whole lot of space, but in this island there is some storage here. So he wanted to have a place where he could, you know, sit and eat some dinner if he wanted to. Standard appliances, 18.2 cubic foot over under refrigerator made by Whirlpool in most cases. Refrigerator shelf over that. Bank of drawers right here. You're going to find a bank of drawers in all of our homes. 30 by 36 window. We did Casper cashmere on the wall. It's a nice neutral gray color. VOG, vinyl over gypsum. We did the regular electric stove. I thought this was so cool. Back in the day, you know, guys, they used to just have the burners, right? And now there's a safety feature that it, this has to be pushed down for these burners to come on so that you don't burn yourself or burn whatever you got going on there. Microwave over the range that does chimney all the way out. We kept the standard trim up there in white. Window blinds do come with the home. We've got thunder on the floor, drama marble on the island. And remember where we are, also we're gonna provide an extra piece of wallboard in case you need it in the future. Some plumbing parts there, the exterior lights, and the shutters that would be on the end of that window so that when we're going down the road, they're not flying off. Heading back here to the bedroom area, we're gonna pass the furnace and Excuse me, I had the door still open from when I came in. Right here's the water heater. Here's the master bedroom. Now, I get a lot of comments about, oh, the washer and dryer's in there. Ooh, we don't like it. Well, the home is 38,900. I do have some one bedroom, one bath where that isn't the case. So whatever you guys are looking for, we can do. Here is master closet, washer dryer area. Some people might think that it's kind of handy having your washer and dryer in your bedroom. I don't know. If you're not a big fan of hanging up your clothes and you know, sometimes you just want to throw them on the bed. What I wanted to show you here is a TV wall brace. So we added an electrical receptacle and a TV uh, phone jack up there so that he could hang a TV up there and not take up too much of his bedroom space. So here you have it, a customized stretched thrifty with the four foot stretch in the length. Remember, I can stretch this home to a 16 wide as well. As always, thanks for watching guys.